Hi guys, it's been six days since I had my lateral ankle stabilization surgery with a brace to fix my anterior talofibular ligament. I did the surgery on Thursday, today it's Wednesday. So I want to talk to you about three things. First of all, I want to talk to you about the pain that I experienced. The first five days were the most amount of pain. Second thing, I want to talk to you about some of the questions that I've prepared for my doctor. And then I will be talking to you after the appointment is done. The appointment is at in the morning at 11.50 a.m. Right now it's 12 a.m. So the first thing, the pain. Um, I got in the car. I had the crutches after the surgery. I, I, I slided into the back seat, extended my leg, and then I used the, sur the crutches to walk into the basement where I had my recliner chair, sat in there, elevated my foot, iced it a little bit, had uh, a nap and then I had a um, had a portable toilet which I used on the second day uh, up to the fifth day. The t portable toilet was amazing. I bought it from CVS. I kind of feel sorry for the person who's nursing you but if uh, you don't have any other option that's a good option because if you plan on using the crutches and walking around on the first day or the second day, or even the third day, it's going to be very difficult. The most amount of pain that I experienced was on day three. And day two was a little bit, day four was a little bit, and then day five, it was, you know, almost completely gone. By day five, I was able to make my way up to my bedroom on the second floor, so I kind of sat on my butt and used my good foot to uh, push myself up the steps, until I made it to uh, my bedroom and I had somebody help me. Always have somebody help you. Um, so I used up about like 13 pills and um, the thing that I wanna caution you guys about is that you might get bored. So I, I'll be honest, I'll admit to you guys, I used two of the pills because I was bored. <clears throat> so right now I made my way down from the bedroom and right now I am camping in the living room couch. The one uh, other thing is that in uh, during the first like five days, there was some pounding pain. When you experience that pounding pain, that means you're not elevating your foot. And I kind of neglected to do that. Uh, my foot was elevated, but it was not above my heart level. So I had to move it up a little bit further. And then I had to use a strict regimen of icing it. You, of course, use their doctor's recommendations, but in my situation, um, I did not adhere to these two things so well. But as soon as I did that, the pain started feeling so much less. And I did not really need the pills as much um, when I started uh, using these two techniques. The second thing, I prepared some questions here, and I feel really worried when I go to the doctor tomorrow because I moved my ankle quite a bit. So my ankle was like this. If you can imagine, this is my foot, this is my ankle, this is my leg. I kind of moved it like this and I rotated it a little bit like this, you know. I am sleeping on the couch and I don't know what I'm doing. So I don't realize that I am um, doing all these movements. So I, I, it will just give me a peace of mind. I don't know if he can do anything about it if all these connections that he made broke other than have another surgery. But um, you really have to prepare before you go into the post-surgery appointment. You wanna ask the doctor some questions. It will make you feel better and it will make you prepared for the next steps. So the other questions I'm asking are like, what are the next steps for, what are the next steps that, I, uh, that we'll be taking? Um, and what are the phases of uh, re rehab? and what precautions and uh, I should be aware of. Um, I also am going to ask him, like, you know, how much I can stand up. I, I plan to go to the bar, you know, go out of the house. I plan to go to work, you know. You know, at work, you want to walk around a little bit from the parking lot or go to lunch or something like that. So I want to know, like, at the different stages of rehab, how much activity I can engage in. The last thing is the appointment is on uh, in the morning. So I'll let you guys know once I'm done with the appointment. I'll see you guys soon. 
So I went to today's appointment with two false assumptions. I thought I was going to get a hard cast and I thought that I was going to stay in the cast for only one week. Instead, I'm getting a, um, uh, instead I'm getting a soft cast and I'm going to have to stay in it for two more weeks. That means I cannot put any weight on my ankle, on my foot for two more weeks and I have to be very careful. I asked the doctor about, well, if I want to go back to work, what do I have to do? Is it okay if I go back to work? He basically said, you know, you should do what you have to do. Um, he said, if you can elevate your foot, if you can go there without bumping your foot, without injuring yourself and you're okay, you should do what you have to do. So I interpreted that as, you better stay home. But he said, you can walk around with the crutches, uh, get things done in the kitchen, in the bathroom, do this and that. Just make sure, you know, you don't uh, have, like, you don't fall down, you don't put pressure on the foot. Um, I told him about, you know, when I was rotating my ankle a little bit, he said, you know, the, the repairs that he did were very durable, more durable than and, and robust uh, than it is to break with such a slight movement. So I was very happy with that answer. When I asked him, you know, when he opened up the the ankle, what did you see inside? I didn't see much of a ligament, so I kind of was like, whoa, what is that? So it's a common thing. Um, next time I probably should ask him, like, uh, how big was the ligament right now compared to a normal ligament? Just out of curiosity, you know. So um, the good news is that the cart cartilage is still okay and uh, the surgery went well without any complications but he did attach whatever was left of the uh, ligament after the surgeon left you know the nurse came over to put the new cast they call it a splinter because it's kind of like a soft material that's dipped into a solution and then it hardens in six minutes and while it hardens it's really hot in your foot after i had that that um cast put on because i um overextended the the rotation of my my ankle uh, I feel a lot of pain right now so I came back I iced it um, I have it elevated I'm so tired from you know this risky walking with crutches um, but you know it's only two more weeks um, I did not ask, ask the doctor so many questions about rehab and all that stuff I'm gonna ask him after two weeks um, I don't see the point of asking him right now. All I had to do is whatever I've been doing last week. So um, after two weeks, I'm going to be put in a boot and I'm going to go through the rehab phases. I don't think I should be making another video um, in the meantime, but um, it's just going to be a boot and it's going to be rehab phases and all that stuff. Um, I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you need any questions, please post it in the comments section below. Um, and if your ankle is safe, please continue practicing safe practices. Um, it's not fun. This, this was not a fun experience. Um, it's really painful. It's really boring. And it, it just, it wastes a lot of time. I'm thinking of making another video after four to six months. Uh, and then a second one after a year from now. Uh, the first one, I'm probably going to make it like after I jog for three times, I'll have the uh, app with me, the jogging app, and it will show you the route that I took. I'll try to keep it anonymous, how much, how far did I jog and how fast I did it. And then I'll, I'll uh, show you how my foot looks like and tell you how I feel. But until then, you guys... Um, please, please be safe. If you ever go into the snow or you play sports and you sprain your ankle, first of all, don't sprain your ankle. Uh, but if you do sprain your ankle, take it very, very seriously. Tendons and ligaments are a serious thing and they, know, they don't heal like uh, muscles. Uh, if you're having this surgery, uh, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you have, any questions that I might have left out. I think I was very thorough with my answers. But if there is anything that you guys need, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you.